Hello, welcome. Today we are diving in to this. Um, I got happy mail yesterday. This was one of my pre-orders from A Cherry on Top and I'll link it down below. It's no longer on pre-order, it's now available. So yeah, so you can get all of these things now. We'll dive into it. Um, I'm not exactly sure where to start or how to go through it, but this is the brand new 49 and Market Vintage Artistry Everywhere collection. So it seems like this spring that everyone is coming out with a travel collection. And I love it because we love to travel. And we do have a couple of trips planned. Oh my goodness. Cherry on Top packages this stuff in here so tightly. Which is a good thing, right? Alright, we're going to get it out of its casing. What should we start with? Um, well, I have lots of things. We'll move. Oh my goodness. I did not organize any of this. So, oh, I also forgot I got a few pieces of the color swatch, the two new colors that were released. Okay, maybe I ought to do that. Maybe we ought to separate out. I didn't get much of it. The colors were toast and inkwell. So it's a blue and a brown, which actually work really well with this collection. So I think we'll start with those, the toast and the inkwell. So let me find all that. Again, I didn't get much of it. I, I don't know. I just wasn't sure. I wanted to see the rest of this collection and then come back in possibly and get some more. So I did get this piece of paper. This one is called toast paper number four. There's the A side. Let's take a look at the B side. Let's do them side by side. Really, really pretty. If you've never had 49 in market paper before, it's really heavyweight. It is, it's good stuff, man. I mean, if you layer some of this up, you get a really heavy layout. But I really like this look. I love the little doilies in it. Very nice. I also got in toast the Color Swatch Toast Rub-Ons. They always come with this little stick. There are six sheets. We have butterflies, florals, leaves, some splattery mixed media bits, more mixed media bits, some stitches, and then some pieces that you could cut apart and use as titles and whatnot. I really like these. I really like these for layering. Um, I've done them on, I've used 49 and Market on several things lately that are coming up. They're in the feed, not feed, that's not what it's called. You know on YouTube when you schedule, it's in the scheduler to come up. Good grief, words are hard. So there are those, really excited. I love the quality of the rub-ons. They're super, super sticky. You almost don't have to have the sticky thing to get them off. I also got the toast envelopes. I have these in the other two, the eucalyptus and the pink one, but I don't remember the name of it. But I really like these. So these are not as thick as their papers. These are more of a copy paper weight, so they're definitely lighter. You get six envelopes, so a dark, a medium, and then a distressed looking one. And then you get all of these really great journaling pieces. I'm going to call them journaling pieces. But all kinds of really, really great pieces. I don't know. Are they all shown? Yep, they're all shown on the back. So I am going to guess that in most of them, you get the light, medium, and dark, just like you did in the envelopes. Because that's kind of what it looks like here. All the details. These are just fantastic. Look, and you can tell the difference in the colors there. You can really see it. Lighter here, darker there. The story of today. I just love these little bits. So, I did get these in toast. I felt like that would work really well with everything I'm doing. Like I said, I have them in eucalyptus. And I wish I could think of rouge. Is that what the other color was? Now, the other thing that's really fun... Oops, I don't know that's a stick about their packaging is there's always a printed something. So look, you can use the packaging too. I love that, it's so pretty. 
All right, let's get these little bad boys stuck back in here. So it's kind of funny when this one came UPS. No, this one came FedEx. This one came FedEx. And um, when he walked up with the package, it kind of hit me. I guess I was I was not watching for him, but it was such a gorgeous day, and I was sitting out on the front porch. And as he walked up, I was like, we just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. So if you have kids, you know that's from Blue's Clues. We grew up on Blue's Clues around here. And my little guy, Jackson, used to sing that every time he saw our mailman. Now, our mailman has been with us since before he was born. And so one of the things that Fernando told us was that he missed hearing Jackson sing that because he sang it for years when Fernando would come up um, and Fernando would kind of dance his way up to the house with Jackson singing. It was the cutest, sweetest thing. I, of course, I have no picture of it, nothing but a memory. But every time I watch someone walk up to the house, especially if I'm sitting on the front porch, that memory comes back to me. All right, so now we're moving into the inkwell. Y'all, this is a gorgeous color. Gorgeous, gorgeous navy. So here's the A side, and there's the B side. Gorgeous. This collection, this was paper number one. I, there were not many papers in this collection. I think there may be four or five different ones. They're not a lot. So it's definitely something that could come into, oh, look at that one. There's some text in here. Some lights and darks over this print. Okay, so what I was saying is these could definitely come in very easily to your workspace as basics. I really love this idea. All right, so it does not appear that I got anything else to go with Thinkwell other than the two papers, which is odd. But, you know, who knows? I was more focused on this. So this is the travel collection. I'm going to call it a travel collection. This is the travel collection from 49 and Market. We have chipboard geo tag frames. And I wasn't sure. So, you know, when you see things online, that's why I do these. When you see things online, you're never quite sure how big or how small something is, right? Because all you see is the photograph. So one of the things that I was wondering was how big or how small are these? And so pulled out, I think these are, nope, there's one smaller. I think there are four sizes of these. At least it appears to be that way, that there are four sizes. I'll close this. Yeah, I think there are four sizes. But even when you look at the packaging, these look like they're all going to be the same size, and they're not. They're just not. So we have this really big one that's big enough that you could actually put a photograph in it. This one could have a smaller photograph. And then you have these little bitty ones. Now these do punch out, these pieces, but the smaller ones did come with some circles in them. So there are four different sizes and there they are against my hand. So, I mean, the big one's big. It, it could really be a focal piece. Then we have the next size down. Then we have the next size down and then the littlest. Slide these in here so you can kind of get them all together. I mean, the big ones are pretty substantial. It does not look like anything other than white has this super large one, which is fine, but there are several colors. There's the orange, the dark green, the light green. I mean, the orange, the dark blue, and light blue, and the green that are part of this collection. So these are really nice. The chipboard to me is thinner than other chipboard products. It's got a little bit of give to it, which is kind of nice. But I really love this idea. I, I thought this was nice, these little geo tags. And this package has 36 of them in there. All right, moving on. Now we have the words. I am not gonna pull the words out because there are a gajillions of them. But they are that thinner chipboard like the geo tags. Here are all of the words. Lots of great words. Lots of cute little hearts that are going to be great. And then some word strips. 
So you've got some pieces to build titles out of and then some pieces to support that. Love it. All right, next. Where are we going next? Let's do, let's stick with chipboard. I've got more chipboard. All right, so these are the chipboard shapes and they do have a few words in them. I have had these before. I really like the chipboard shape pack. It seems to be a, it's a smaller pack. It's 62 where the ephemera pack Gosh, this one's 146. The Fimber Packs are usually huge, and these are a little bit smaller. So if you're trying to decide what to do, obviously they're two different products. They've got two different things going on. We'll talk a little bit about it. This does not have the really large pieces. This is more of what I truly think of when I think of an ephemera pack, because in, in my land, ephemera packs don't have pieces big enough to mat on. That's just me. Now, that said, I love that 49 and Market puts pieces in their ephemera pack that's big enough that I can map photographs on. But there's some frames in here. There are some banners, some more geotags. I wonder, nope, they don't. Oh, they do. Okay, so I was just to say, I wonder if the little centers come out of these geotags. Oops. Because these are definitely smaller than the other ones. Look, they do come out. Ah, oh, so cute. So I've got the smallest, here's the smallest one in this pack. And so you can see these are definitely smaller. So you kind of really are gonna need both of them, y'all. You are. All right, so I love these. Love that the little centers come out. Oh, so, so good. Let's see, we've got some buildings, some little X's, go see do. Some circle pieces, some bicycles. This is a really nice mix. Some tab pieces. Uh, the words do come out of the middle of these. So there's that. All right, there's that. Chipboard frames. I thought I did both frames. I'm looking to make sure I don't have anything hidden anywhere. All right, so these are the everywhere map frames. And I love these. Look at how cool they are. They look like the grids around old maps. Oh, I love it. And these are made out of chipboard, so they're a little thicker. But they all come out. And they all have a centerpiece. Ooh, and those aren't shown on there. So we'll open this one up. All right, so these are nested. So when you get them, they're all nested together. But they're really, they really do all come apart. And mine are so nested, they're sticking together. Oh, they're adhesive backed, too. Oh, I didn't know that. They're adhesive backed. So cool. So they do come apart. Can you see that? They all have a center piece. Look at this one. Very, very cool. So they all have a center piece. Look at how many frames you're getting. And you get solid black ones as well as the map edge ones. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at this one. It looks like a Polaroid. Look at that. Oh. So stinking cool. And then look, this Polaroid has the map on it. Okay, these are fantastic. I may have to get another set of these because I have a feeling I'm going to be using lots of them. So, great job. Again, the packaging you could use as a part of your layout because they are themed to the collection as well. All right, that's all the chipboard. Let's do these real quick. I did get the Everywhere film strips. It looks like they have new sizes in there, so I wanted to grab them for that. So there's, this one appears to be new. These appear to be new. I think these may be new as well. Maybe. So I'm really excited to play with those on layouts. And they come in the orange, blue, and green. Great stuff. All right, now let's do this ephemera pack. Tons of stuff in here. Tons, tons. What did I say, 146 pieces? So there are some really large pieces in this pack that are big enough that you could put a photograph on them. Let me see if I can get one out without like having to pull the whole pack out. So, for example, aha. Here is this great torn map piece. If I had uh, we'll just pick a random photo. All right, so this is a four by six photo. 
And if I put it on there, that can now be matted and be done. You know, maybe add some clustery stuff. But these are huge. And I like them for that purpose. It was a little odd to me at first that you would have ephemera packs that had photo mats. I mean, I, I don't quite know what they're calling them. But I do like, now that I've worked with them, now that I've played with them, now that I really see what I'm doing, I really like this as a layering piece underneath my photos. So, big enough for a 4 by 6 Really, really nice. Let's look at kind of some of the stuff that's in here. So we have some photo corners. We have tabs. Lots of different tickets. We have some squares and then some more tabby looking pieces that will be great for layering. We have the fold over tabs. Some airplane pieces. Some circles. That cute little bicycles made an appearance again. That looks like there's some geo tags in here. Just some, a really nice mix of things. Ooh, this looks fun. This looks very Tim Holtz, this little wheel thing. Don't know what it is, but I think it's very Tim Holtz looking. So I'm really excited. This has got a ton of stuff. Look at how cute that little ticket is. Very cute. And they do look a little different than the uh, than tickets in the other collection. So I feel like this maybe was curated more towards travel. So I love it. Oh. Oh, the places you'll go. Great titles in here. Best time ever. Oh, the places we'll go. Stay here. Here we are. On the go. Some really great titles. All right, so there are those. Let's see. Let's do the die cut elements. Okay, these we have to open because these are freaking amazing. Where's the strip? All right, these are the laser cut elements. All right, so here's the overall sheet. I'm in a very singy mood today. Yeah, we're supposed to get lots of rain today, so I'm filming this early. We have some that are cut apart, so you could cut them out. <gasps> Look at the vintage suitcases. Oh my gosh. And then the binoculars and the old cameras. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my heavens. Ooh. We have a piece that fell out right there. I'll have to find it. It'll be here somewhere. It may be on my floor because I did open these. I had to look at them. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have, but I had to. So these are laser cut. So they are very, very delicate. So like here in this bicycle, let's go ahead and pop him out. Look, y'all, y'all, look, look, ah, look. So you see all of the little spokes in his wheels are cut out all in between. Oh my goodness. And they're they're so fine. You might be able to see better the cutouts from here. Look. Look at all that detail. So cool. All right. So we have the vintage bicycles. We have lots of suitcases. Old cameras. Lots of old cameras. Lots of pieces on here. Does it say how many there are? It says four sheets, but it doesn't tell me. Oh, 95. Includes a total of 95 assorted windows, tickets, ward strips, I travel icons, and more. So 95 pieces. This is a really good one. Look at these little buildings. Oh. And then these, or maybe that's not missing a piece. Maybe, because none of these others are cut. Maybe that one is cut for on purpose. Oh, look at the little compasses. I'm like, navigational pieces. Look at the navigational pieces. Look at the airplane. It's got map in it. All right. I want to close this and not lose my bicycle that I pulled out because he is so cute. Y'all, I haven't ridden a bicycle since I was a kid. So, all right. We're going to set that like that so we don't lose the bicycle. And then let's look at this one. All right. Open this up. Look at these ginormous windows. Oh, they're gorgeous. All of the tickets and the words. Look at these strings that are tied. They, I mean, legit look like string. You would put that on there and somebody would think, oh, she put string on her layout. And then these ticket strips and they have the holes where they could be torn. And then we have some stamp pieces. Oh, these are gorgeous. 
we're not lost trailblazing i love this okay so these are the laser cut elements all right we're gonna stick these back in the bag because i don't want to lose any of them my first laser cut elements came with the last two collections that i can't think of the name of anymore the one that was kind of valentine's -y, and then i want to call it the butterfly one but that's not it it was it was more of a springy one. Oh, these are so cool but i love these i, I love I love how closely cut they are. So these will have the, just so you know the difference, no white edge, detail cut out in the middle. These will have white edge. So like when you look at this bicycle, can I put my hand on him real quick? Maybe, 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 maybe. Yep, there he is. All right. So when you see him, he's all white all the way through. So there's nothing cut out on the inside. And then there's this white edge around the whole thing. With the laser cuts, that's not there. All of that white's gone and it goes right up to the image oh, so so good all right good job 49 market good job now these epoxies and it says there are 110 of them these i am ordering more of i thought i ordered two when i pre-ordered but evidently i didn't i don't know what i was thinking i will use all of these two or three times over these are fantastic and i have a feeling they are going to sell out again packaging in such a way that you could use that in, on your layout hello drive seek view go what i don't know and i won't know until i get in and start playing with them is if these would fit in here i have a suspicion that they would but we don't know yet or i don't know yet because i haven't played with them but i will be ordering some more of these love them all right we'll do papers in a minute let's see oh this is the essential file set so these are file folders, pockets, pockets, pockets. And we're going to open these up. I am in love with this. When I saw these, I was like, oh, mini books. Alrighty. So let's start with the biggest and work our way down. So this is this double pocket. See why you need to see it in real life? This sucker is huge. Yes, the numbers are there, but until you see it, look at this. Oh, in a travel journal. Ooh, I wonder if it would fit in my, speaking of travel journal, oh, it's too wide. Okay, so my thought was I wonder if it would try, fit in my traveler's notebook, which I need to update, by the way, because I haven't done it in a while. These would not, they are too wide. Although I could trim them and it wouldn't matter because you could re-stick that. Okay, these are fantastic. They would be great if you had a long story to tell to tuck the journaling in there or to tuck extra photos. I bet a four by six fits in here. Yep, looky there. Yep, 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 love that. But on the packaging, I can't really tell. And it does say the double tocket, pocket, tocket, the double tocket. Oh, friends, the double pocket is 6.25 by 8.25. But I'm mathematically challenged on a good day so I'm going six inches. Okay, six inches. That'll fit in my traveler's notebook. Um, no, it won't. <laughs> so here's the really big one. I love it. Now these are some of the foldables. And there's a slit in it, but it folds here. Does it show on the, it does not on this packaging. I'm trying to feel for fold lines and score lines. So there's a score line here. There's a score line going up the side. Then there's a slit in the middle. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, I'm liking those. They're big though. And it says angled pockets when scored are 5.75, so five and three fourths, but still, for those of us who are mathematically challenged, I'm like, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? Well, it means it's huge. So here it is. All right. Then we get into the file folders. These are so stinking cute. Look at these. Okay, we're going to go this way. So here we go. Look at the map. These are, oh, cool. This is a U.S. map. So here's Arizona. 
Then we've got California. This right here would be Baja, Mexico. Then on this way, we're now on the East Coast, and we have Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee. I'm over here in Arkansas. And then the inside is that. Okay, now I have another question. Nope, they're too big. Okay, it was a thought. All right, then we have this one. So there's the front with all the really pretty buildings. And then the back is just very neutral. Very cool. This one is a world map. And here we are in, here's Canada. There's London, or not London, that would be, hello Karen, the country's called New England. I mean, uh, England. Jeez Louise. England, Ireland. Then we've got Italy, France. Up here we would have Sweden and Norway. Then if we flip it this way, we are now over on the other side and we are Canada, the United States. This is obviously a map not written in English because this is, I don't even know how to say it. This may be French, I don't know. Maybe it's French, I don't know, but the inside is this really pretty light purple. Those are gorgeous too. Very gorgeous. Yep. Then we have the little bitty envelopes. And these aren't really little bitty, but they kind of are compared to the others. So it folds in from three sides. So you now have a pocket that you could stick things in. Let's pull back that four by six photo. So it would go this way. Perfect. And they come in five different colors. We have green, light blue, Kind of a pinky purple, orange, and a navy. Very vintagey looking. All right, these are fantastic. Yet again, 49 in market. Oops, I don't want to put my phone in there. 49 in market's knocking my socks off. Knocking my socks off. So, the last collection. That, oh, look at how cool that is. <gasps> mm, 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 mm. The last collection that had me this excited was Spectrum. And I was like geeking out over it. All right, now rub-ons. We're moving into rub-ons. Y'all, I'm going to try to make this a little bit faster. we got to speed this up. All right, we've got rub-ons. There are two different rub-ons in this collection. There is the, what they're calling the rub-on transfer set. And this is the album rub-on transfer set. This one has titles in it. And then it has some days of the week. Morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, and then we come down here, breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So I feel like this one may be more for like setting up your album and having different titles. These are really nice. Go, see, do, never stop exploring. Let's go. I do like the mixture of the font. So you've got this really big, grungy, bold, and then... Not lost, just exploring. So the not lost, just in this really pretty script. These are really nice. And then these remind me more of what we normally see in their rub -ons. So we see lots of stitching or lining things. We've got a big group of postmarks. Some of these grungy, splatty bits. There was also some in this pack. They are different. Love them some images, and then this one also has some words as well. So I think these are gonna be great. I love that I have both of them. Very smart decision, Karen, very smart decision. All right, paper pack. This is the six by nines. Whew. What I'm opening it to show you is, yes, on their packaging and everything, they give you blanks. So here is the back cover. And then here is the front cover. So one side will be the packaging. The other side will be papers. Very cool. Very, very cool. So I think these are pretty much repeats of the bigs. So, oh, oh, oh. And there's a cut apart sheet. Look at that. Cut aparts that are scaled to fit this paper size. Yeah, these pretty much look like they're dupes of what I'm fixing to show you. So, 
scale will be smaller so that you could use them in smaller albums. They are six by eight. They are fantastic. Same weight as the big paper. All right, let's do the looses first and then we'll do. All righty, so here we go. This one's called Wander. There's the A side. There's the B side. Look at all those vintage cars. I love it. This one is called The Unknown. Into the Unknown. Sorry. Told y'all I'm feeling very singy today. Look at the envelopes. Oh, so cool. Alrighty. This one I think may be my favorite paper out of the entire collection. This one's called Ticket Montage. And it's a ticket montage. But I love it. And I love how it fades out. Both it fades in color and then so you lose the color into some black and white before you lose the black and white. And then this is the side B. All right, this one is called In the Deep. I feel like singing a little Moana, but I won't. <laughs> but it's got this great beginning of a cluster up here. Great cluster down here. And here's your B side. This really pretty purpley pink color. It's not really pink. It's not really purple. It really reminds me of milled lavender. If you have Tim Holtz ink, that, that's very much that color to me. This one's called I don't know. Pilgrimage, pilgrimage, maybe. The font's throwing me. P I L G R I pilgrimage. Ooh, that threw me for a second. All right, so we've got this really great cluster here, another one there. Again, they do an amazing job with these papers, and I am in love with this B-side. This was on some of the packaging over there a minute ago, and I was like, oh, hmm. everything. There we go. All right, this one's called Mapping the World. I love the mix of the world map with what would be city maps. Very, very cool. And then this is the B-side. Love that. And great big world. Again, a mix of a world map over what looks more like a country map, maybe. Very interesting. In this one, it's it's neat to me because over here, this is this is the part of the map that's blown up. So you see. Uh, the southern tip of Africa and you see some of the places like the Congo that are in here but when you get over to the African continent that they've made bigger it's it's overlaid with what would have been in the oceans because I think that says Atlantic very cool idea so the map that's on this piece is in a different place than this map very cool Oh, look at this one. Look at this branding strip, y'all. Love that. Look at all these postage stamps or passport stamps. So they could be either way. Love that. All right. Now, I'm sure that there are papers that I did not buy loose because I didn't necessarily need two of everything. I just got the ones that were kind of my favorites. So we'll go through these really quick. Some of them we've already seen. Again, cut aparts. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Oh, and they've given you some of those frames too. Okay, so these are really great. Love the card parts. This one is called Wonder. We've already looked at it. Pilgrimage. We've already seen that one. This one is Great Big World. This is one we were just talking about. In the Deep. All right, here's one that I did not get a second one of. Now that I'm seeing it in person, I may wish that I had. This one is called Airmail Artistry. And it almost looks like an area has been exposed on a map because something spilled on it. Very cool. And then here's side B. Oh, look at this branding strip, y'all. The branding strips are killing me in this collection. This one is Mapping the World. We've looked at this. This one is The Unknown. I sang for you on this one. Then we have Ticket Montage. So there are only a couple that I didn't get seconds of. Um, and then we have the Foundations Pack. 
I'm wondering what's on the back of this packaging sheet. Because I know 49 and Market did something. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so. Here's the front of the packaging. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. All righty. That is all the paper. The last thing we have to talk about are the tags, which I really thought I didn't order, so I'm glad I did. But they're all different shapes and sizes in here. They come with an eyelet. Or look at that packaging. Oh. They come with an eyelet already attached in string. You can take the string off. It's not hard to do. This is very reminiscent to me of the Spectrum Collection. They had tags like this. Loved them. Look, some are printed. Some are just solids. Those have butterflies with maps on them. Look at these. Oh. These are fantastic. I really, I had to go back and double check my order because I was like, I don't think I ordered those and I'm going to want them. And then this is fairly new. Uh, they came out with this product or this skew with the Vintage Rouge collection. I really ought to know these, but I don't. There's too many products I love. But look, these are actually stickers. So you can see here where when I was pulling the, the secure tape off, it came apart. So this is actually a sticker. It's a washi tape, but it's a sticker. Oh, so cool. So we have bicycles and geotags and the little map thing that shows north. I don't know if they call those compasses or not. There's some hearts, cameras. Really love this. So that, my friends, is what I got out of the brand new Vintage Everywhere Collection. I love it. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you for sticking with me all the way through this. I know this is a little bit longer. Unfortunately, uh, haul and unpacking videos, they just are. I can't speed them up. Um, I'm sure I could talk less, but, you know, then I don't get to tell you about my thoughts of the products, and I really enjoy doing that. So, my friend, until next time, if you would like that video down below, it helps others find me. It is really, really appreciated. I would love for you to be one of my followers so you know when something new is posted because YouTube lets you know. I don't have to. Also, when you are a follower or subscriber, you are the first to see all of my new content because YouTube will put it in your feed. So I do like to put up two to three things each week to keep us inspired and keep us using all of the amazing products that we bring into our crafty spaces. My friend, until next time, go make some memories. Bye-bye.